Yo, 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 yo. Before we, before, listen. I know y'all want to watch this. Listen, if you do not, if you're like not caught up to that, do not look at this video. I'm telling you that right now. There will be spoilers. He's breaking, I, I think Anime Over 20 pretty much breaking down the whole chapter, the recent chapter of Protect on Titan. I don't want you guys to get spoiled. Um, this is the whole recent chapter of Attack on Titan. I, I think my anime was about to break the break the whole chapter down, which is kind of like, which is kind of what I need right now, because I, bro, it was like, cause that chapter was just like insane, bro. Like that chapter was vicious, fam. So I need some clarification. I need some breaking down, cause that chapter was literally wild and all over the place. So y'all, listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. So anyway. You know, sometimes I'm telling you that right now. Go ahead. But anyway, hey, 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 what's going on for little talkers? My MJH1 to a bad the video. And um, yeah, man, we watching this, bro. Uh, I'm trying to get back in my anime duffel, fam. You feel me? You know, we already know we're rocking the Meteora hoodie. You know, you know, it's cold. It's cold. It's chilly where I'm at. So, you know, we know we gotta bust out the bust out the hoodie, hoodie, the goody, goody, the doody, doody, the booty, booty, rusty, kaluti, booty, kaluti, nudi, the booty, goody, goo, goo. You know we gotta rock out the, the hoodie, meteor hoodie. So you feel me? So we, so we gotta rock out right now. We finna watch this real quick, and uh, yeah, man, let's get on with this video. I don't wanna waste no time, bro. I need to see this. What is up, everybody? I it's, need what is up, everybody? It's Woo! Animax Shout here to Anime Outdoor too, by the way. And uh, today, I'll leave all this stuff in the description. I got the latest time. craziness that just took place in the attack on. Yes, the sir, story. boy. Story yes, freaking sir. Friends, the original Titan. The original of the <laughs> of all the other Titans. Yes, break it down for me, brother. But more than that, the ending of the latest chapter threw everything we thought we knew into another We don't know nothing. We know absolutely nothing, my boy. Same again. We thought, listen, we so thought we knew stuff. We don't know so nothing, let's dog. Get into it. If you enjoy the Attack on Titan content on this channel and you want us to keep yes, going, sir, I'm please this leave a right like now. to let me know. And if you happen to be new to Anime Out Pro, don't you. forget to subscribe Got and hit you, that sir. notification bell to turn. I already suck. My dumb ass. Okay. Uh. Oh, what did I just do? I, all I want to do is like the video, man. Eight. Come on, man. Come on, you guys. You got that all. Girl who's always thinking about... Titan chapters in particular, I have felt... In the Attack on Titan manga. Yes, spoilers, guys. Attack on Titan news. Gosh, how much did I skip? Ymir Fritz, the go. original Titan and the progenitor of all the other Titans, was finally revealed. But more than that, the ending of the latest chapter threw everything we thought Yo, it we threw knew all of us into in another loop, massive tailspin, and things will never be the it same again. It did, though, fam. There like, it threw just all so of us in a loop, dog. About, so let's get into it. If you enjoy the Attack on Titan content on this channel and you want us to keep going, please leave a like to let me know. And if you happen to be new to Anime Outroar, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification that bell to turn on bro, all notifications. Nice, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Anime Outroar for all say, the hey, their Instagram is for his Instagram is pretty nice too. Updates. Interesting and stuff. And finally, so. of course, this video will contain manga spoilers. Yes, We're talking major about the spoilers, manga spoilers, in the Attack whatever on you want to call manga. it, man. So please, proceed on, with get into caution, my you have team. been warned. By the way, I know from the comments that quite a few people would like me to publish my take on the new Attack on Titan chapters as soon as they drop. But aside from the time it naturally takes to produce a video, with these last three Attack on Titan chapters in particular, I have felt the need to take my time and really contemplate what happened before rushing to write a script. The chapters have kind of left me speechless after first reading organize my thoughts. Yo, that's but what it is. Like, Attack on Titan, Attack on Titan chapters do, do, do. That's why I never reviewed them because, like, it's like Attack on Titan, like, it takes a lot to take in. You can do it with, like, the anime. When it comes to the manga, it's so years ago, much to take which is a in and, just, and like, really to the gather your mind around, you know? It's wild stuff. It's kind of hard to really kind of just this is addressed Picture later mind, on in the chapter, so I will talk about it in so a little wild bit. Crap is the chapter starts off with a flashback so that's why I never really done a technical thing in the channel. Uh, maybe like anime in this for sure, because like that's Frida more easy to understand for me. tells a story that Emir Fritz was ladylike, but. and the kind girl who's always thinking of others. 
Remember this for later, because this subtly reveals a lot, including the very warped mind state of Frida and the entire Fritz slash Reese royal family. Mm -hmm. Frida tells Historia that the world is full of pain and suffering, and for this reason Historia should live as someone everybody loves, and someone who depends on others, and whom others can depend on. Yep. Frida is implying that Historia should be like Emir Fritz. She even refers to Emir by Historia's former name, Krista, when telling the story. The more this chapter unfolds, the more messed up Frida's message to Historia yeah, becomes. Yeah, it just gets, it continues, like, the more she like, kept on talking, the more the wild, like, the more wild, and just crazy and everything starts to become, the origins of the man. Titan powers themselves. We learned that Emir was a slave. One of many slaves that were serving the ancient Eldian kingdom of that time. Deep stuff, we can ain't it? That these Deep slaves stuff, were isn't not it? Eldians themselves, but rather a different group of I'm gonna try not to talk over him. I know you guys want to hear what he has to say. I know. I sometimes we say, "Yo, so talk." I'll try not to talk a lot, but just so much I really like want to say. I might say that. Regardless of who exactly they were, the slaves were treated terribly. Tortured, maimed, and Yo, abused it was, bro, on a daily it was so basis. much to grant to take we in, dog. It was so wild. The ruler asks a large group of slaves yeah, I, which of them bro, set a pig free. <laughs> so bad. Like, a like, it's just, it's just bad. It's slavery, man. Like, like it's brutal, man. It's terrible. Rebellion. It's terrible. The Eldian ruler demands that the bad. culprit identify himself or herself. Otherwise, every slave will lose an eye as punishment. A large like group I said, it's wild. Emir, it's, it's, the same short girl that we saw in the unknown land where the coordinate resides. Emir does not protest, but we are not sure if she actually did release the pig or if she is just covering for the others because she doesn't want them to suffer and she would rather sacrifice herself. The Eldian ruler tells her that she is now free. And we cut to a scene of poor little Emir running through the woods as Eldian soldiers on horseback are hunting her for sport, even using dogs to track her. At this point, I am kind of leaning towards the idea that Emir did indeed release the pig. Perhaps she oh, felt yeah, bad for the pig yeah. and wanted to allow the pig to I was kind of thinking that as well, but it's like, she herself how? Never like, had. No and way. that is why the Eldian ruler and mocks really Emir later by telling her that she is free as he proceeds to hunt her through the Right, he's ass, bro. Oh. Through the woods. In her attempt to get away, Emir is injured by arrows. She is bleeding. Yeah, she was getting murdered. She is barely moving. She, was she stumbles murdered. upon a massive tree with an opening at the bottom. She walks into that opening in order to hide, but there is a hole inside the opening and she stumbles and falls. She plunges into water and it appears that she is about to drown. Then, suddenly, something that looks like a disembodied spinal cord attaches itself to Emir's back, and in the next moment we see the entire tree explode as a massive female titan appears. Emir has turned into the very yeah, first yeah, titan, female titan, and this yep. titan appears to have all the nine powers within itself, because even though it has the appearance of a female titan, it seems to be the size of a colossal titan. So presumably, all yeah, the titan powers yeah, are currently combined true. into this one. Yeah, it, it, yeah it definitely do. I have no like, idea what this like that, disembodied though. spinal cord thing was, and I have mixed feelings about this aspect of the backstory. Was this some sort of ancient organism that slumbered for millions of years and then somehow and it somehow entered it into the water, the <laughs> right? Like it somehow some sort just got of into the freaking water. Parasite, maybe. Or was this some type of alien creature that crashed to Earth on a meteor and waited for millions of years to I finally it. find it's, a host? Heck no, dog. Is this no. basically the arrow from JoJo's? I don't think so, right? I honestly don't know. And it's, this definitely, story it's definitely felt a question, too much like right? A fairy tale it's it's, it's, it's an interesting question to ask, but I highly doubt it was, it was a meteor that came crashing to down to the freaking uh, Earth. I, I highly doubt that. I don't think so. It could be. It's a possibility, but that's I don't think all. But my thinking was that Titan powers were the result of some sort of primitive genetic experimentation, hmm. perhaps combining human genes with the genes of animals, including massive that's animals a good like whales thought, and though. elephants, that's, that's a, and eventually that led to the creation of a Titan virus yeah. that only affected elephants. It's an experiment However, going wrong, pretty much. Get more an experiment going later, wrong. They were trying to create it something, and it just, were created it just completely went to the left. Some mysterious that's right. It went left. It took left, but so... Attached itself to Emir. Left, man. The so, yeah, it just, it just to took a whole left turn, though. An it's obedient the Emir that wrong. she has worked well for him. Just like the Eldian Restorationists believed in their own secret history books, Emir's Titan cultivated the land, built bridges across mountains, and allowed Eldia to expand dramatically. We now know that Marleyan history was partially wrong, because there was no deal with the devil, 
And all that crap about Eldians being devils and spawn of the devil was nothing but propaganda. Ah, so but it was the Eldian restorationist yep. view of history yeah, wasn't was accurate that, either. It was all BS. wasn't the wise and benevolent so ruler of the Eldian Empire. She might not have been Eldian at all. Instead, Emir was the subservient and obedient slave of the Eldian ruler, and he used her to expand Eldia and to destroy his Marleyan rivals. Damn. The Eldian ruler and his followers were just as brutal and ruthless towards the Marleyans as the Marleyans are towards the Eldians today. So as we could have guessed, there are no good guys and bad guys here. There are two sides who want power and who want to dominate others. And historically, yeah, so there's no, they yeah, were willing no good to cop, bad cop here. They, they both, they both, they both want their, they, they want their own needs. They want power and domination. They both have. Ain't no good cop, bad cop. The Eldian ruler tells Emir that he will allow her to bear his children, not because he cares about Emir at all, but because he wants his children to inherit the Titan powers, mm -hmm. so that they could keep using Titans to dominate the world in the name of Eldia. Emir Fritz was not actually Emir Fritz. She became a Fritz only when she was forced to marry the Eldian ruler, who bore the Fritz family name, and so through this Eldian ruler and Emir, the modern Eldian royal family was born. Mm -hmm. Emir then had three daughters with this Eldian ruler, Maria, Rose, and Sheena. The three walls on Paradis are named after these three daughters. We then oh, see a panel so yeah, of pregnant okay, Emir looking okay, very similar to pregnant Historia from earlier on in the manga, and a very clear parallel between the two girls is being made over and over again. It really makes you think what the Reese family might have done to Historia if they had remained in power. And it also makes you think about what Isayama may still be planning to do to Historia before the story is over. As Eldians defeated the Marleans using the incredible power of Emir's Titan, Marlean soldiers and officers were brought before the Eldian royals and made to bow to the ruler of Eldia. One of those Marlean officers then attempts to assassinate the Eldian ruler with a hidden spear. Yeah, but Bo is not trying, bro. He was not rapping. He had him no pricks, bro. He was the not playing with He was all serious with it, too. Spinal cord, and as a result, she actually dies. She is not able to use her titan. The use Eldian him ruler anymore, tells I'm Emir like, to dang. rise. No mere spear Wait, should be able to kill her. And she was born actually dies. She is not able to use her titan powers to in order to shield him with her body. The spear manages to tear through Emir's spinal cord, and as a result, she actually dies. She is not able to use her titan powers to recover. The Eldian ruler yeah, tells right Emir here, to right, rise. The spear no right mere spear the spear should be able to like kill her, and she was, was born to serve her. him, so she must rise. But Emir does not rise. Instead, her consciousness finds itself inside that unknown land where Zeke and Erend have found themselves in recent chapters, the land of the coordinate. Back in the physical world, the Eldian ruler forces Emir's three daughters to eat their mother's remains, including presumably her spinal fluids, in order to inherit Emir's titan powers so that they can be passed on to future generations and so that the Eldians can continue oh, dominating okay, so the world that's where all with that the other power stuff came of from. the titans. In a previous video that I made back in July of 2019 about the secret history of Attack on Titan, I said that I believed that Emir's daughters had to eat her body in order to inherit her power, and I thought this because during the season two anime ending, we can see an image of what looks to be three girls. Eating yeah, the body in the credit scene. In the credit scene, for sure. Them. Yeah. It turns out that this is indeed what happened. On his deathbed, the Eldian I was wondering what the, the freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad their he brought that up too. Upon their death in order to continue passing the Titan powers on to new generations of Eldians. That is presumably how the nine titan shifter powers became separate, although at this point we can't be sure why exactly they separated into only nine instead of even more. Ymir's consciousness or essence or whatever it is continues to faithfully build the frames of the titans in the unknown world, but in that moment the backstory ends and we return to Eren holding Ymir and trying to stop her from obeying Zeke's order. Eren says that he will put an end to this world right now. He tells Emir that she is not a slave or a god. She is just a normal person. She doesn't need to serve anyone. She can choose her yeah, own Hold on, guys. Future. I'm going to take our storage real quick. I'll be right back. Give me one second.